Mr. Clean is here. You guys like my new long johns? These look ridiculous. You should see the bottom. <laughs> Alright, so I'm just gonna do a raw primal meal today. Here I have some liver, uh, some brain, and just a piece of this is I think it's Wagyu beef coulette. Uh, I mean there's a lot of like Wagyu offcuts that you get for cheap. Uh, the liver is gonna be for our vitamin A, vitamin C, ton of vitamin K2 as well. I mean the vitamin A being the predominant vitamin in liver that we're going for. Of course, a lot of minerals. Uh, if you guys want to see the full nutrient profile of liver, check out my last video on uh, the RDAs. Brain tissue, mainly for DHA, excellent source of DHA. It also has a lot of vitamin C and vitamin E, two vitamins that are not too common on the carnivore diet. And then uh, the muscle meat is just for some extra calories, extra fat, and meat inherently has all the fat type of vitamins depending on the fat content. But what we have here is something you guys have been asking for for a while. Uh, and although I did a video on high meat, we got some more. Oh, oh man. So, so this jar of ribeye has been on my counter for a week. Ooh. Man. And like, the jar smelled worse than this piece smells. I always like, I can't stand the smell of this, but it doesn't taste that bad. The lean pieces don't really taste too funky. I think the fat is where all the, the funk is. Same with dry aged meat. I mean, it tastes a little like cheese, in a way. When you eat this, you understand why humans have a craving for all the flavor profiles. Because this is sour, it is acidic, it is umami, it is savory, it has every flavoral element in it. God only knows what my breath smells like right now. <laughs> mmm 
You guys want some? I got my stomach used to this by, you know, as it fermented over the course of the week. I had a little bit every day. Seemed like a smart way to do it. It's only like, it's like 8.30 in the morning. I'm eating rotten meat. I went downstairs to, to breathe in my mom's face and it was like, she thought that my breath smelled like fish. I guess it wasn't that bad. It's just cheese, guys. That's all it is. Cheese, yogurt. Just looks a little different, has a different texture. Now, I mean, I wasn't really hungry in the first place, to be honest, but this video doesn't make itself. So, this is just, um, this is veal liver. Uh, it's pretty good quality. Has uh, it's just like mild, sweet, uh, no real bitterness or astringency to it. It's like mildly sweet. This video is for all you vegans saying you need to salt and cook your meat. <laughs> it's funny. All these raw primal people on YouTube and they're still saying you need to cook it in New York. I mean, I'm a little bit out there, you know. I'll cook a New York City style steak one day and I'll do this the next day. So, understandable. We didn't really touch on what the uh, what the benefits of the high meat were. Uh, beneficial bacteria, obviously. I mean, I'm trying to restore some good gut bacteria after having the candida problems and the SIBO problems the past few weeks. Also, it's very high in vitamin K2. Fermented food gets a much higher amount of K2. And I mean, even though I'm eating liver and probably don't need any more K2, you know, it's, it's always a nice addition. And I find that 
you know, the proteolytic enzymes break down the protein, the fat hydrolyzing enzymes break down the fat. It digests a bit easier uh, from what I understand. So there's definitely some sort of change in the bacterial and protein structure and the fat structure of the, the meat, making it affect the digestive system differently. I mean, I would love to get some testing done on like the raw fresh meat versus the one week old, two week old, three week old meat. And the high meat stuff, guys, I will do a separate video. I have a separate video I'm gonna do on it, uh, showing you how I made it. And then uh, I'm gonna taste a couple different types of high meat because I think muscle meat is not really too interesting, so to speak. But uh, to finish up this meal, uh, we got the brain here. That one's sweet. Really rich cholesterol flavor. I'm not really hungry for this because I ate all that, uh, the other meat earlier, the high meat. You know, the satiation of raw primal, I know, I eat a raw primal meal, then go wipe my face with a paper towel. <laughs> I know, guys, I know, I'm sorry. The satiation of raw food, especially nutrient dense food, is, is, is very interesting. Normally I could eat, you know, two, three pounds of muscle meat, but I had maybe a quarter pound of high ribeye, uh, maybe like an eighth of a pound of liver, and then just one lamb, a half of a lamb brain. So it's something to be said about the nutrient density of the satiation. Uh, I mean, I could briefly go over the nutrients again. Basically with the liver, we're trying to achieve an incredibly high vitamin A amount. Uh, with the brain, we're trying to go for a DHA content. And then overall in the meal, uh, vitamin K2. You know, I mean, of course, all the other vitamins are there, vitamin C, vitamin E, but those will come inherently with the high quality foods I'm eating. I'm gonna go uh, grill up a steak. I think that's more appropriate right now to finish my, my breakfast, right? <laughs> all indigenous groups consume both cooked and raw foods, and they all had these rotten foods present. And what I've noticed is over the course of my kind of carnivore diet, I've kind of gradually kind of switched between these various aspects of it, and now I kind of incorporate both at the same time. I definitely think uh, in order to have optimal gut bacteria and feel good and have high energy while reducing a kind of caloric bulk, you do need to consume some of these high quality foods. Uh, maybe necessarily, not necessarily fermented. I don't think, I, I'm at kind of odds with the high meat thing because every indigenous group did kind of consume rotten meat in some form. And especially hunters that would have had meat for like weeks and months after the kill, especially large ruminant animals. But on paper, I just can't justify why it would be necessary because there are foods we can get vitamin K2 from. Uh, you know, the beneficial bacteria thing to me doesn't seem like, you know, it seems like there'd be much more noticeable of a difference in people who consume these foods than those who didn't. So the only thing I can really equate incorporating high meat into your diet for is that, you know, obviously not everyone in a tribe or a group of people would have been able to eat the liver. You know, not everyone would have been able to eat uh, get these high vitamins and kind of easily digestible calories, so to speak. Maybe they just didn't have access to uh, certain foods for everyone, so they just fermented it. Either that or there really is some true inherent benefit to bacteria and drastically increasing the vitamin K2 content of your diet. But regardless, thank you guys for watching. Um, if you guys would like to support me, please just share the video. Uh, if you guys would like to check out my Amazon shop, I do have a bunch of products on there. It could be you know, grains that you guys might see me make in a future sourdough video. It could be supplements, cod liver oil. I even have some salmon roe and some fish roe on there. Uh, if you guys would like to know where I got a lot of this stuff, I got the brain, the liver from Vincent's Meat Market in the Bronx. Uh, tell Kenny I sent you. Uh, you know, the, the quality they get is pretty good, especially the baby lamb's liver and the lamb heads are great. Uh, affordable too, I think the liver's like uh, nine or 10 a pound and the brains or the heads are like $5 each. And if you guys want to, uh, the ribeye and stuff I get from a local meat purveyor, so check out my uh, carnivore grocery haul video that I did a couple days ago. But outside of that, if you guys would like to reach out to me for one-on-one -on -one stuff, 
uh, anything in regards to this, check out my website, uh, frank-tefano.com, or shoot me an email, frankatefano at gmail.com. Hey, maybe you wanna, maybe you want some pretty boy makeup tips. Do I have to do a makeup check today? I'm not doing it. All right, I'll do it today. Got a wet paper towel here. I'm tired of rubbing the chemicals from the, uh, from those makeup wipes on my face for you guys, to be honest. We'll do that once a week. Oh man, look at all that makeup. Oh, you guys got me. You got me. I'm sorry. I put my hands behind my head, getting down on my knees. You guys ever see Men in Black? What is it, Men in Black 2? I'll put my hands behind my head. And then he like rips his head open. <laughs> no, check out uh, Men in Black 2 cockroach scene. I don't remember what it's called.